Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery with uh, another episode in this uh, fantastically reviewed video series. And we're all looking forward to the DVD or the day that I'm actually on free to air television. Wouldn't that be exciting? Anyway, for now, it's just this little video. So we're going to talk about um, reconciliation, nothing to do with um, uh, land titles or peoples or whatever. This is to do with construction work, <laughs> okay? I hope I've spelt that right. Anyway, it'll do. Okay, reconciliation means accounting for where every cent in this job has gone. How often contractors come to me and I say, what are you owed? No idea. 300 grand, 400, 150, something like that, don't know. Now that is absurd. That is absolutely absurd. But I know why it happens. It happens because so much is going on. You're generating invoices for variations, invoices for claims. You, they've got you to issue credits, there's variations, you can't keep track of it. Now, you need to every month be reconciling the whole job and what I'm gonna go through now is just the types of things you need to be including in a monthly reconciliation because you need to be telling your customer every month what they owe, not just total claimed, less previous claimed, this claim. No one cares what your previous claim is, I don't care. You shouldn't care. What you should care about is based on what you've claimed, how much has been paid. And you need to be telling your customer every month, this is what you owe, all right? And scare them every month, that's the fun bit. Okay, so here's the type of things you should create in a reconciliation spreadsheet. Obviously, the contract sum, okay? Let's look at every, anything that adds to the value of work done, okay? So contracts, then we have variations. Obviously, positive variations, and depending on the size of the job list, them varies variations one to whatever, 10, 20, 50, whatever they are. That all adds to the value of uh, the work done. Um, any hourly day labor that you've supplied over and above outside the fixed contract sum that you've agreed on, any extras, so a lot of it is labour and sometimes sometimes your client gets you to uh, provide some materials, some odds and sods, okay? All of that adds to, this is a concept you need to understand. No one uses it, I use it and you should start to adopt it. It's called total value of completed work. All right, or T, V, C, W. I just made that up now, but that sounds good. Uh, total value of completed work. Total dollar figure of what you've provided. Now, what comes off that? Is credits issued, if you'd issued them. Um, negative variations, so Negative variations, reductions in scope. Don't need you to do that. You need to agree on a value. If someone ever says, I'm taking this out of your scope, you've got to put it, you guys got to agree on a dollar value and put that there. So minus that, minus that. Negative variations, obviously amounts paid. And back charges and deductions or set offs. Call them. back charges, okay? If you can agree on those, which no one ever does, but anyway, that's another thing there. Now that should give you a number, which we'll call A. This should give you a number called B. A minus B is what you are owed at any point in time. And you should be providing this with your monthly claim as a separate document, project reconciliation, every month. Then you're on top of where you're at. I recently uh, helped a contractor, and uh, when we actually went through the invoices, um, my claims for 430,000, he said, but actually 200 of that was double invoicing. And he had no idea. He just repeated invoice after invoice. Totally got lost in the whole project, all right? So every month, reconciliation, 
look at these items, work them into your own reconciliation sheet. I hope to have one uh, example on the website soon for you. Reconcile every month, remind your client what they owe every month, A minus B, and that should really go a long way to helping you control uh, the job month by month. If you have any questions or queries, give us a call, the number should be on the screen. Other than that, I'll see you next time.